Hi, today I'd like to take you through Keith Richards' guitar part for Honky Tonk Woman by the Rolling Stones. I'm tuned to G, G, D, G. So is he, uh, except he has a couple extra strings there. It starts off with just these two strings, same two he's using. That's the first part. The only thing tricky about that is it's on the and. So it's one, two, three, four, and one, two, and three, and four, and like that. So if you're tapping your foot, you want to hit these chords when your foot comes up. Right? If you're tapping your foot like one, two, three, four, and one, two, and three, and four, and. It really matters because that's how you get the lick started right. And I do the lick like this. I'm not doing any bending. Actually, when I listen to it closely, I think he is only actually bending in one spot, but it's hard to say. Um, but I'm not doing any bending because i got really heavy strings on here. So you can choose to bend from uh, any time it slides from the 2 to the 4. You can do that as a bend, but I'm going to play it just as a slide right now. Um, so, And I'm not going to do the extra note. I have it in the tab, but for the sake of clarity, I'm just going to play the lick. So slide from 2 to 4, back down, open. Two again, open, back up to four, back down to two, open, two on the middle, open, two, open, and then that should definitely be the chord. That's a lick by itself, and you do have it there in the tab. So just practice it slow, and then try to add in another note. And like I said, if your strings are light, then you can, uh, you know, try... Hmm, actually, I bent that. Who knew? Any of them that you want to bend, you can do that as well. Uh, although, when you do bend them, you're going to kill this string. He's pinching his high D string, which would be an up, that note up there somewhere. He's pinching that, so when he bends, it adds to it. It sounds fuller. It sounds nice. If we bend, we kind of kill the extra note. All right, now we're into the song, and the singing starts. And uh, the guitar part is actually pretty laid back. It continues with these two notes and it does them on the and of three and the and of four and then it does it on the and of three and then adds a two slide to four and an open high string so that's on the and of three so it's like one two three and four A C chord, five five five, and then we're going to go to a C sus four, which is five five ten. Now that looks hard. It isn't hard. I don't have very big hands, and I've actually had them operated on and stuff, so they're not. They don't stretch as much as they even used to. So this is actually pretty doable, and this will sound very very close to the record. So here we are. C sus four does it twice, and then you bring this back down to nine. As a matter of fact, if you're quick at grabbing it, you can grab the C chord as 5-5-9. Five, five, okay. Then there's a lick. That's 12-10-7. Uh, and I like to pinch a note along with that. And then we're back on top of the G chord. I'll do that again. top of the G chord. So on the G chord we slide to the 4, open, 2. So that's pretty quick. It's supposed to sound like that. Then we go to an A chord. We're going to do it up here. Partial A. And uh, we're going to hammer on. We're on first fingers on six, second fingers on seven. And we're going to hammer on to seven on the first string, 
and it's actually pretty sparse. It's just uh, hit those two notes and hammer, and then hit it again and pull off. When you're playing this, you might want to add in a few more stuff if you're by yourself, but this is what's on the record. Right? And then we go right to D. And we do the suspended chord on D, which would bring our little finger up to 12. Now, sus4 means suspended 4, and what the suspended stands for is that you've removed the third of the chord. Right? So in this uh, situation, this is D, this is E, this is F sharp, and that's the third. And a normal D chord would have that in it, if at all possible. We have to fudge things on our three string instrument sometimes, so we don't always have a third in a chord, especially if uh, you're playing slide or you're a beginner and you're playing one finger chords. So there we are, that's a major third. So after three comes four. So when you do that, you're blocking the third, so you've suspended it. Now you know what sus means. And then we go down to this cool low lick, open, slide from two to four, and then open over here, slide back down, four to two. back into the groove of the song like that and we do the C thing again and I wrote there um, in a tab anticipated he changes the timing a bit and the band speeds up which is unusual nowadays because a lot of bands use click tracks and stuff like that but those guys didn't do that they just jammed and it speeds up so it's the same musically but it lands a little ahead of where it was before. So if you're trying really hard to count it like you did the first time we did C, it's the same, but it lands slightly, just slightly ahead. So don't get hung up on that. It, the count works really good the first time, and the second time you already know how to play the lick. So just play the lick. So we're back here at C, do the sus4 thing again. Right? And then we do that little lick again. Uh, this time it starts a little earlier. So that you have time to... Yeah, I usually slide into that four, I think. So that puts you into the G chord. And then you have the two to four lick. Like that. A D. Then there's two little harmonics. And then you start on four again, slide down to two, and then you're in a G chord. Okay, I went a little quick there. So we were at the C. And we had to lick again. I mentioned it starts a little earlier so that after you hit this note, you're going right to the G. Phrasing is kind of wacky when you play it slow, but works out when you speed it up. Um, and then you have the 2, 4. Then you go to D. And you do harmonic on 12, middle string, 12 on the high string. Then you go over here to four, slide down to two. That brings you up to the end of the song. So just go back to the beginning every once in a while and listen to how I played it or listen to the record. Remember the record speeds up a little bit as it goes along and uh, I'm sure it'll come together for you. As far as the chorus goes, it's just two chords, G and D with a boogie feel. this far I don't think I have to tab that out for you that's really all there is to that you can mess around and go up here to um, the 12th fret and you can play G up there 
and you can play on the uh, 14th fret and the 17th fret. That's kind of a Keith Richards-ish thing. You know? You hear that sound a lot? So you can throw that in instead of the G. Because there's multiple guitars going on there. I hope that works for you. See you next time.